Well, hello, First Baptist Church and all of our friends that tune into this channel on a regular basis. Uh, we're just checking in with a virtual visit. Uh, we try to do these either on Tuesday or Thursday, but once again, it worked out. It's on Saturday yeah. this week. We just finished recording the service, so we hope you'll tune into that tomorrow at 10 a.m. But how are things going in, uh, in your home? We're doing pretty well over this past week. Dalton had his finals yes, he this did. past week. So he finished those. He completed his piano proficiency. Yes, he did. So that's exciting. Many hours of practice. Yes. We heard lots of piano. Yes, we did. So, And then uh, he had his clarinet jury. Yes, he did. And that was a big deal. He yeah. recorded that. And so the stress level starting to go down a little yes. bit it in the way house. Up and it was yep. slowly coming down. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but... Things in the world, as we're getting back out into our communities around us, they sure look a lot different than yeah, what they, they used do. to. You've got a couple of events coming up that look mm -hmm. different. We have some drive through events. So mm -hmm. we have a drive through bridal shower that yep. I'm going to. Uh, I don't really know what that will look like. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know I'm yeah. supposed to stay in my car and yeah. uh, I know they made cupcakes. So we'll mm -hmm. see if they toss them to us or, <laughs> or what happens. But uh, we also have some drive through graduation parties. Yeah. So that should be interesting as well. Uh, just celebrating in a different way, you know. Yeah. So still celebrating, just different. Mm -hmm. So. And uh, in the congregation, we have some uh, high school graduates. Yes. They've got about a week left. So stay you strong. You got it. And uh, we're excited for you. Yes, we are. Very excited. Um, one announcement to bring to your attention, just what we announced last week, that our plan still is to have services back here in the building on May the 24th. That will be our first one. So we are excited about that. We're really thinking through what it's going to look like to put several safety measures in place that have been recommended to churches. And so it might look different when we get back together. And we'll be sending out an announcement, uh, a letter, a YouTube video to get into your hands what it's going to look like, those safety measures that we're going to put in place once we get back together. But we're looking forward to that. Yeah. So um, one of the things that we ask a lot of times in these videos is, uh, where are you reading in your Bibles lately? How have you been encouraged in the Word? So, Christina, what have you been reading lately? Well, in Acts, we're almost through. Paul is imprisoned. He hasn't been moved to Rome yet. But mm -hmm. um, I was reading in Psalms last night, Psalm 57, and it says in verse 2, I cry out to God most high, to God who who will fulfill his purpose mm -hmm. for me. And it was, yeah. it's been neat to see the thread of God preserving and completing his will in, in different saints' lives, like mm -hmm. I'm reading in Joshua also, and seeing how God's working there, and in Paul, and how the thread goes throughout all of Scripture. It's not just in one place, but right. it's been really encouraging, and, and Paul was encouraged by the Lord. He said, take courage, for I have a plan for you to speak in Rome, and mm -hmm. Just to read that after that, it just it's neat to see it come together. It's yeah. neat when you see the word come together like In the that. lives so. of all these believers through scripture, mm -hmm. God unfolds his plan yes. and purposes for them, which mm -hmm. encouraging for us, we know he's doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. And so that gives us a strong foundation and encouragement yeah. in turbulent times in these days. Yeah. Um, I've been reading in the scriptures uh, a little bit about grumbling and complaining lately because I have the tendency to do that. I don't know if you've noticed that or not, but I have the tendency to grumble. Uh, the other day, um, I was driving down the street and it was a couple of weeks ago, actually, when gas was like a dollar 34. I don't know if you remember that or not, but I waited to get gas till the next day and it had jumped up to a dollar 59. And so I started grumbling. How, how can gas go up 25 cents overnight? You know, I was grumbling about that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And, and then it hit me. Why am I grumbling about gas at a dollar fifty nine? That's a good deal, yeah. you know. But it's just this tendency we have to grumble and complain about temporal things around us. And over in Philippians, Paul says, we, and we know this verse. He says, "Do all things without grumbling and disputing." Um, and we need to hear that encouragement. But what we often forget is what Paul connects up with that instruction to do all things without grumbling or disputing, so that you will prove yourselves to be blameless and innocent children of God above reproach in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, among whom you appear as lights in the world, mm -hmm. holding fast to the word of life. And so when we grumble and complain, 
It's it's like we're we're tied back to the temporal things of this world, and we're not. We have been set free, and you know when we grumble and complain, we're not really shining forth as lights in the world, uh, proclaiming Christ. So I was just I was challenged by that, but encouraged you know, by those scriptural instructions as well. So just a quick visit today to check in. We hope that you're all, all are doing well. Should we tell them who won Boggle? Oh yeah, we forgot. Several people had texted me about the game night. (laughs) So last Sunday night, we had game night to celebrate Christina's birthday. And you'll remember from the last video, she wanted to play word games, right? Mm -hmm. You wanted to play word games. And so Boggle was requested and some other games. So Last Sunday night, we played Boggle. Mm-hmm. We did. Bananagrams. Bananagrams. Scattergories. Scattergories. And I think I faded out somewhere in the <laughs> middle of all of that. So, But we played those three anyway. And uh, who was the champion, Christina? Well, my brother beat me by one yeah. measly point <laughs> in Boggle. But it was a lot of fun. I've never, you know, we just had both families together. And yeah, it was loud. I've never had word games that were that loud. Yeah, I mean, it was it crazy. Was, it was, oh my gosh, it was amazing, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we had a good time. Bananagrams was fun. I mm-hmm. think you skipped out on that one, but yeah, we enjoyed that and categories and Lily got to play them all. And so it was a lot of fun. I appreciate my family supporting me. Yeah. <laughs> playing things that they're not necessarily fond of. But, but we had a good time. We, we really did. It was a lot, lot of fun. Of laughter and it was really loud and crazy and chaotic, yeah. but it was good. So we hope you, yeah, and we hope you and your family are doing well in these days. We keep praying for you, and we can't wait to see you again soon. So God bless you. Bye-bye.